I wonder how much damage a maxed out sunball can do. Woo! That much, apparently. That was pretty good. Definitely worth at least four eggs. <laughs>
Um, we have nothing good to do it with. I mean, these are all great recipes and we're kind of getting there as far as being able to cook them. I think we just need to continue on a little farther. Oop. Okay, here we go. Blunt damage. And... Let's boost. And we can't do that. Not yet. I suppose I could have eaten some of the several things of berry jam that I had while we were between battles. Oof. We might need to level grind a little bit. This is rough. Huh. Alright, let's keep Garl alive. Didn't deflect that. Okay, Zale is up. Please do healing light on like yourself. Okay. Ouch. They just hit so hard. Oh, and there's more enemies. I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of this one. See, even when I block, it's dealing like 20 points worth of damage. Oh dear. Game over. Hmm. There's gotta be something I can do about this. Uh oh. How far back did we go? Ah, uh, pretty far back. Darn it. This is rough. Let's see, hang on. Skills. Garl, nourish. Zale. Zale, healing light. Garl. That ought to do it. At least for now. And let's not forget to grab the wheat. That's pretty good. Wait a minute. What is this thing? Time has made the runes indecipherable. Is that all I get? Alright. Those are rough, but we're close to another level. So I think we're gonna be okay. <laughs> we just gotta hang in there. I wonder what the deal is with this thing. Alright, I think we're progressing just fine. There's the chest. Power belt. Sounds like something I need. Who isn't hitting very hard? You, probably. Although, you're not supposed to hit very hard. I want you to hit very hard. Yeah. And, let's see. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna switch... Valerie and Zale's armor? Because I think Valerie has been holding her own defense-wise and Zale has been suffering. I hope it wasn't just because of the um, adventurer's vest versus basic armor. <sighs> I don't know, but this is what we got. We're gonna run with it. And also, I think I want that wheat down there. Let's go get it. And do a fight. Ouch. Even with the basic armor, Zale? Okay. Oh. Alright. Got some good drops. We're doing okay. Oh, and there's like peppers and stuff down here. That's great. Let's get all the food items we can out in the wild. I drop down? The surface feels fragile. It would probably break if we jumped from high enough. Oh! I see. 
All right, I said I would not skip a fight. Even if you guys are the worst ever to fight. No, 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 no. Okay, at least Valerie's up. Oh. Okay, well, you know what? Sometimes you just have days where things don't quite go your way, but all you can do is work with what you're given. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're both up! That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, combo, souls to strike, you. Okay. We might actually get out of this yet. Come on! Okay. Level up. Finally. That's really good. We really needed a level up. Okay. Magic defense all the way. I think our magic defense looks pretty cruddy, actually. Maybe that's what it was. It's not our defense so much as magic defense. I'm boosting physical defense anyway. And let's see. Let's boost your physical attack. Yeah. I think that'll work out. And we got eggs. <laughs> eggs are good. Oh, and you know what else is good is tomatoes and lettuce. I think we can make tomato clubs now. <laughs> ah. All right, things are turning around. We're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Here we go. Broke through. Oh, this is kind of a cool, creepy looking cave. There's a save point nearby. Are my hit points okay? Ooh, they are super not okay. I'm glad I checked. Um, ugh, we're out of items. That's great. And that's all I can do. Oh, camping would be really good right about now. Just keep on going though. Oh, what is that up there? There's a shell on it. Remember how we got a rainbow conk a few miles back? A few miles back? I think that's what it's for. No, 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 no. Oh, when is the last time it even auto saved? Oh, no. Continue. Please be recent. Okay. Not the best, but not the worst either. And down you go. Ooh, that was rough. Hmm. I wonder how I get up there. Not really sure. Woo! That's fun, we jumped down in the water. Alright, what is this? Found four teal amber ore. I'm not sure what that does, but alright. I wonder. I choose to use any of these items. Nope, meant to be sold. Hmm, all right. Well, good to have. This seems suspicious over here. Time has made the runes indecipherable. I wonder if I'm supposed to come back to any of these areas. Woo! And hang on, oof. I think I'm zooming too far ahead. I'm gonna backtrack a little after this battle's over. All right. Okay, <laughs> zooming ahead, need to, whoa. What is the deal with that? Huh. Guess I'll need to keep that in mind. Run away! 
I'm not ready. I'm pretty sure the direction I meant to go is up here. Oh my gosh, a campfire. Oh my gosh, I need to cook and rest so badly. Ah. What a blessing. Okay, let's cook stuff. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like I can cook a good amount of salad. And that restores 35 HP, so it's pretty good. Oh great, and we can cook a tomato club. And let's cook a roast sandwich. This artwork is so cute. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, maybe even one more. Looks like we can hold up to 10 food items at a time. If I'm seeing that right up top. But that's not too bad. Oh, and this can even be cooked. This replenishes magic points. That's great. Awesome. Okay. Oh, we are in much better shape. Let's go ahead and save right now. Now I feel like we can go over here and not get totally clobbered. Awesome. We got more eggs. <laughs> That is always a good thing. Still don't know what that is. This is really interesting. This world is pretty expansive. It's pretty large, honestly. And I even feel like they're encouraging us to come back to certain places in time. And that'll be really interesting to do. Oh, treasure. Can I make it over? Yeah, I can swim. A rock lid! Oh, that's a new weapon for Garl! Oh, so good. Do we have any more armor? We really don't. But yeah, that, that upped our stats quite a bit. So yeah, rock lid. You have decent gear, you have decent gear. Got a lot more gold now than we did before, so that's, that's really nice. All right, and in the cave. Let's fight. This episode might end up being kind of dry. I'm nervous to admit. <laughs> it's just been a lot of rough battling and honestly, I haven't even been doing a very good job at battling. <laughs> yes, that was pretty great. I'm definitely still dying, but like, we made it out alive. We'll use up one of these basic salads. That's nice. Is there anything back here? Oh, there's a chest up here. If I can figure out how to get to it. Hmm. Oh, there's like a little point here. So, stonemason outpost to the right, fishing lake down into the left. And there's some fights down here too. I wonder how much damage a maxed out sunball can do. Woo! That much, apparently. That was pretty good. Definitely worth at least four eggs. <laughs> Which is what I got for beating those two centipedes? I don't know what they are. Oh, we are moving right along. Let's see, we can go to Windy Lock. Moorlands, that's where we were. I guess this is our only option, huh? Go fishing. Well, fishing's fun. Let's see. There's a lot of fish right here. Uh... Oof. I always forget how difficult this is. Come on. There we go, I caught something. 
I caught a hard shell. Great. I don't know how to keep the line from breaking. Ugh. Maybe I ought to go for the fish that are a little closer to the shore. There's that one. Just right here. Sweet! Hard shell. Could do this for a little while. Come here. Another one. I wonder if I'll catch nothing but just these guys. Why is the line blinking red, I wonder? Other than the fact that it's about to snap. It was blinking red even when I wasn't reeling, which is what's confusing me. Maybe the line that only has so much strength. Like, I don't wait for it to stop blinking, it just doesn't stop. I think. I don't know. Huh. Well, I actually caught that one. Maybe we'll do a couple more and call it a day. Fishing's difficult. <laughs> Either that or I'm just hopeless. Both are valid options. Oh well. That was a good time. No merchant here. I guess we gotta go back up to where we were and continue on. Said there were two paths. Oh, you guys respawned. I don't feel like fighting you twice. Let's just go on to the stonemason outpost. Except what's over here? Is this how to get to that chest from before? I think it might be. I think it might be. Yes! What did I get? A recipe for mushroom soup! I thought maybe I already knew how to cook that. I don't know. Oh well. More fights. There we go. Okay. We're gonna need some heals. <laughs> there we go. Look, someone's over there. Someone is? Oh my gosh, another cutscene. Who are you? Besides adorable with your pink hair, oh my goodness. We should ask for directions. <laughs> she looks busy. Oh, I love this music. Bah, I'm sure it's fine. Hello, is there something special about that big rock? <laughs> yes, come look at this. I like this person already. It's... Uh... <laughs> this looks like... Nah, must be my imagination. Wait, girl, what does it look like? Ahem, <laughs> so, what are those? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. You're a traveling historian, that's the best thing. Or at least what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you, my name is Goral. Nice to meet you too, I'm Teeks. Ah, I like Teeks. So are your friends always this quiet? <laughs> nah, Valerie and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Hmm? Magic hair? Enchanted cloth pieces? <laughs> oh my goodness, Deeks! <laughs> Your solstice warriors! We... I knew it! And 
adventurers to fear some about a traveling historian's best friends. My goodness, Teague's so excited. I mean, well, someone's excited. <laughs> and we thought Garl was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us, and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? Mm, I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Hmm? Why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Camp! Camp sounds great. Oh, well. Don't be shy, we're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Garl's cooking. Hi. <laughs> okay, thanks. That's it. One stew coming right up. Thanks again for the food, Garl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So you're the very last traveling historian? At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since the Lord Grimoires were burned. What? The what now? Lord Grimoires? Every traveling historian has one. Or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa. A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. Oh, cool. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire? Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find, and we'll see how my Lord Grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay with me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh. <laughs> I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. Hmm. I am up for pirate stories. Hey, want to hear a story? Yes. Which one? The Vespertine. Of all the- <laughs> what's with the music? Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries, to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain, he was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortons, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortons' skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until, one day, the inevitable happened. Hortons, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full-time. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortons had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. 
Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. Oh dear. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the Sea of Nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place, until only Hortons remained. Is this going to come up later, do you think? To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortons. Legend has it, she gets a short break once a day, for but a few seconds at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Well, that's a ghost story if I've ever heard one. Alright, campfire feels cozy and warm, let's rest. Good night, folks. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Hmm? Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. Teeks, let's go! The more the merrier! Teeks joins the cargo! Cool, so I guess that means, like, Teeks... Yeah, Teeks is with us, but... Can't fight as Teeks. And I think this is actually as good a place as any to call it an episode. I know that one was kind of dry with just a lot of combat. But hopefully we're out of the woods and things will be picking up soon. <laughs> and Zale is doing squats. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you all in the next. Bye!